Well, I've been working for OVAMP Partners for the last 33 years and my expertise is in foundation design. I'm a geotechnical engineer. What's always fascinated me about uh, geotechnical engineering is the challenge of dealing with geotechnical materials. Um, geology is never the same, it varies from site to site. That's unlike uh, concrete and steel. These are man-made materials that makes them, to some extent, easier to deal with. One of the major areas I've been involved with over the last 15 years or so has been Canary Wharf. And it's been very interesting to take a project which starts with an open dock land and then progressively, stage by stage, changing that to a, actually a, a, a banking centre. And seeing that project grow has been uh, inspiring. In order to uh, develop Canary Wharf further, it's necessary to provide additional infrastructure and Crossrail provides this additional infrastructure. I was involved with or led the uh, geotechnics on the Crossrail station and the challenge is to put this in next to the existing buildings without causing damage to those buildings and also to build it in 10 metre deep uh, dock, north dock that exists there. Um, and that, when it's developed, will be the catalyst that will start the wood wharf development and that comprises another 34 buildings with another set of uh, foundation challenges. We've now moved on from the Crossrail station box but we're working at Dean Street and we saw an opportunity as well to apply, provide the observational method there where we got down to the third level of excavation uh, about 10 metres deep and the movements were only about half of those that we predicted and we took the opportunity to back analyse these movements if they were smaller, what that meant in terms of stiffer and stronger ground and to change the construction sequence and omit the final level. The, the savings were, uh, were significant and the same approach uh, has, has worked again at Moorgate. There are benefits beyond just the Crossrail projects and the next step on this uh, process will be to capture the movements from other Crossrail boxes and there's about eight or nine of them and see if systematically they've all had less movement and that will enable us to uh, improve our design processes and parameters. We can then implement on HS2 and Crossrail 2. We're working on this project with Cambridge University in order to put it into a academic framework. And in the future, we're hoping to take this approach overseas so that from our point of view, we can offer overseas clients the same approach. So the benefits of working with geotechnics at Arabs are you get to work on a very wide range of projects. They're technically very challenging and interesting, but also the people you work with are very knowledgeable. For me to be recognised as an Arab Fellow is a great honour and it gives me the opportunity to uh, pass on this uh, uh, knowledge, to act as a mentor uh, for young engineers and inspire them with some of the ideas that uh, I've worked on over the last 33 years and who knows, they may be future Arab Fellows.